<laughs> this is gonna be funny. <laughs> All right, so today we're here talking with Ro. You guys might remember Ro from the uh, balloon pop video when he did his Braveheart impersonation. That was our impression. That was yes. That was good times. Good that times. Was. You, you took Great a shower times. since then. Otherwise, you'd still. <laughs> I'd still be blue. Smurf. Yeah, yeah. So uh, today we're out talking about uh, FPV. Ro and I have met each other. We met each other probably four or five years ago. Yeah, about four or five years. We're flying uh, FPV and kind of following the progressions and getting into some new stuff. So mm -hmm. we figured we'd kind of put together a video about it. So um, what are you flying here, Ro? What are you, what are you getting into? Well, I'm flying here as the Acro Brat, brat and for me to get it to go long range, um, I went with the lower KV motors so I could go with 4S or 5S. I also have um, a 600 milliwatt video transmitter to get that range I'm looking for. It's also still transmitting on 5.8, so I can't really go super far, but far enough for me to be scared at if it's going to land somewhere, I'm going to go for a long walk. So what do you do if, uh, if you get scared or you lose video? You got, you got something else sitting up here. I do have something else sitting up here. It's uh, the GPS and Betaflight right now allows you to have a rescue mode. So once you get one of these GPSs on Amazon or something like that, um, you could program, it, program that in, flip a switch, and it's basically like a DJI situation. So we're yeah. going to call this the DJI Acrobrat. It's DJI Acrobrat. So, so if you guys didn't catch that, what we're kind of getting into is long range. And uh, mm -hmm. we're starting out with the quads because that's what we're really familiar with. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought a couple of uh, Sonic AR mini wings that we're going to do some messing around with. So uh, Ro built this, and it's still a little limited on distance. The three-inch props don't go uh, too far. So I went ahead and built the... Um, the stingy six inch stingy from uh, x hover and uh, i went a little crazy on this in case you can't tell i want low kv motors running six inch props and i'm running six cell 2700 milliamp thunder power packs so i'm able to go uh, we guessed about five miles obviously we're not flying outside a line of sight so we fly here from the field and we have spotters and mm -hmm. we fly around the basin so i'm able to get quite a bit of range we got about a mile mile and a half out and uh, and did some laps around the around the base and we fly in here so i'm running a uh, race flight which is something new for me right been uh, pretty happy with it got it right out of the uh, wizard and just programmed it with the wizard and it flies great nice smooth video we'll get some uh, video on the gopro here after we shoot this but um it's just been fun it's kind of it's kind of exciting like you oh said, yeah you get out there and you're like wait am i gonna am i gonna make it back exactly so, um, <laughs> you know, another thing you got to do uh, the the video is one thing and 5.8 will go a couple miles from what i understand especially at 600 milliwatts right right um, you know, a lot of guys are saying 25 is all you need but you know, we got the ground station so we may try that later uh, but what else are we doing to get the range as far as radio signal here what do you, what do you actually uh, i have a crossfire uh, module on my um Tyrannus here, and that allows me to go a little bit further. Um, we are tr we are transmitting at like 900, what 900, 900 megahertz at 900 that megahertz. point, so we, we get that we get that long range ability. And right now, um, these actually have an upgrade you could do to make it 200 200, 200 milliwatts. milliwatts. Yeah. And then so. I went with the since I'm I'm more comfortable with the Spectrum radio has been flying them since they first came out with 2.4. I went with the IX-12 here, and we're also running the Crossfire module on the back with the pigtail that they sell. And programming-wise, this is super simple. I didn't have wow. to solder anything. It went on, I 3D printed the mount, and this file's available on Horizon like site. So, <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, this is what we're doing. Uh, messing around a bit, we'll get some video of the long range stuff here, and uh, check the description below uh, for links to all the stuff we're using here, and uh, check it out, it's kind of fun. It's a, it's a neat new aspect of the, um, uh, of the hobby so it, it's a lot of fun we'll also put links up for the ground station we're running mm -hmm. here that helps get a little clearer video signal and take a look sounds good cool. double thumbs up from john we're golden Pretty good, dude. Oh, thanks, guys. Nice. I must have some good footage. I think so. Oh, hold on a second. You still watching? What the hell, dude? Why are you not clicking the subscribe button? You stuck around this long? Yeah, give us a like on this video while you're here. At least, yeah. And get your friends. Tell them to like it.
some people. You gotta, you gotta talk with all of them. But we still like them. We still like them. All right. <laughs>